Good day everyone, I'm Kenneth Jay Gutierrez from the SE4B MAPE. So our topic for today is Lesson 2, Module 2, The Dimension and Principles of Curriculum Design by Purita T. Bilbao. So as earlier said, the curriculum design was defined by Scope Tyler as all content, topic, and learning experiences and organizing threads comprising the educational plan. On the other hand, Posny and Rodzitsky presented five major principles for organizing content in units, which can also apply to curriculum. In each major type or subtype, which explains in detail the principles. These major principles are word-related sequence, concept-related sequence, inquiry-related sequence, and learning-related sequence. First one is word-related sequence. So, dito nakapalob yung mga tanong na what relationship exists people? Object per event of the world. How can content and experience be arranged so that they will be consistent with the world? So, yung subtype ng word-related sequence, number one is space. A spatial relation will be the basis for the sequence. Our uh, example nito is teach the parts of the plants from the roots to the stem to the leaves, flowers, and fruits. And the next one is time. This is similar to the chronological principle of Smith. The content is based from the earliest to more recent. For example, naman dito is the teacher teach the Philippine president from the first to the current. And the last one is the physical attribute. These principles refers to the physical characteristic of the phenomena such as age, shape, size, brightness, and others. For example, the man for physical attributes. For example, topic for the three regions, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, should be ahead of the Panay, Negro, Cebu, Bohol. The next major principle is concept-related sequence. This arrangement refers to the organizational of the conceptual world, how ideas are related together in a logical manner. So the first subtype is class relation. Class concept refers to a group or set of things that share in a common practices. For example, the teacher teach mammals before teaching specific animals. So the next one is propositional relation. A proposition is a statement that asserts something. Sequ sequence is arranged so that the evidence is presented ahead before preposition. So, an example naman ng propositional relation is ex the teacher teach the topics on the principle of equal protection under law before studying Supreme Court decision. So, the third major principle is inquiry-related sequence. This is based on scientific method of inquiry based on the process of generating, discovering, and verifying knowledge, content, and experiences are sequenced logically and methodically. The last major principle is learning-related sequence. This is based on the psychology of learning and how people learn. The first subtype is empirical prerequisite. Sequence is primarily based on empirical studies where the prerequisite is required before learning. An example is teach the skills in discriminating initial consonant before teaching world attack or in softball. Teach the catching and throwing before the ball is batting. So the, the next one is familiarity. Prior learning is important in sequence. What is familiar should be taken up first before the unfamiliar. In teaching currencies, teach the peso before, before the dollar. Or the next one is a difficulty. Easy content is taken ahead than the difficult one. For example, for this is teach rhymes before the blank word. And that's all for my topic. Thank you everyone for watching.